Welcome. Would you like to learn how to create a realistic animation of an online chat conversation? In this video, I will show you step by step how to use a ready made After Effects template to design dynamic and professional text messages. Whether you're creating content for social media, films, or mobile apps, this tutorial will help you achieve a perfect result with ease. Creating a chat-like conversation with this template, mm. we will start by generating a received message. In the project panel of After Effects, expand one-point modules, then expand messages received. Drag the first received message module onto the workspace, as shown on the screen. Move the timeline playhead forward on the timeline to skip the message bubble's appearance animation. Make sure the message layer is selected. In the next step, we will assign the message text and the sender's name. In the Essential Properties panel, enter the message text in the text column. You can disable the recipient's name using the Username checkbox. Now, enter the recipient's name in the column below. The Message Leg On Off option controls the visibility of the message tail, turning it on or off. Now, we will place the recipient's thumbnail image. 1. Move the first message to the side to create space. 2. In the Project panel, locate user's pictures and expand it. 3. Drag the user pick module onto the workspace. Align the modules to maintain a clean and aesthetic layout. Remember, you can enable snapping to make the modules automatically snap to each other for precise positioning. To set the recipient's thumbnail, 1. Double click the thumbnail module on the timeline to open it. 2. As shown on the screen, import the desired image into the project panel in After Effects. Next, you can add the image to the module by dragging it onto the module's timeline. Make sure to place it above the text layer labeled Place User Pick Above This Layer to ensure correct layering. Adjust the image to fit within the circular mask to crop the face centrally. Now you can return to the chat edit composition to review the final effect. Now, let's create the reply animation by first adding the text input field. In the project panel, locate the folder Writing Message in Fields Animation. You have five modules to choose from, each with a different typing duration. Select the appropriate typing duration based on the length of the reply message. Position the module on the workspace Then, on the timeline, move it so that it appears right after the first received message. In the Essential Properties panel, enter the Reply Message text. Now, add the sent message bubble, ensuring it appears right after the typing animation is completed. Copy the typed message text and paste it into the sent message bubble, ensuring the text matches what was written. Move the sent message on the timeline so that it follows the typing animation module creating a smooth sequence that simulates typing and sending the message. Just like before, 
You can disable the message bubble tail if needed. Below, you can also enable the delivery and read receipt notification feature to indicate when the message has been delivered and read. To adjust the timing of the delivery and read receipts, double-click the sent message module on the timeline to open it. On the timeline, locate the read and delivered text layers, then move them to the desired positions to control when they appear. Adjust their duration by dragging their edges to fit the flow of the conversation. Return to the Chat Edit composition to review the final effect. Now, let's add the typing animation to simulate the recipient writing a message. Find the Typing Symbol Animate module in the One Point Modules folder inside the project panel. Once you've added it to the workspace, position it correctly and move it on the timeline so that it appears right after the Read Receipt notification. This will simulate the recipient immediately starting to type a reply. Now, add the second received message. and position it so that it overlaps with the typing animation. On the timeline, place the second message right after the typing animation ends. You can shorten the typing animation by dragging the end of the orange block on the timeline to adjust its duration. Enter the reply message text and the user's name in the Essential Properties panel. Copy the recipient's thumbnail on the timeline and paste it above. Then, position it so that it appears alongside the new message at the moment it is received. Now, let's add an emoji reaction to the message. In the Project panel, expand Emoji Reactions, choose a reaction, and drag it onto the message bubble. On the timeline, adjust the timing of the emoji reaction by moving the yellow bar to the desired position to control when it appears. If you want to add your own custom emoji reaction, go to the One Point Custom Emojis subfolder and duplicate the Your Emoji One module as many times as needed. Then, double click the added custom emoji module to edit it. Import your custom emoji into the project panel, then add it to the custom emoji module, making sure to place it above the layer labeled Place Your Emoji Above This Layer. Adjust the size of the emoji to fit properly within the composition of the emoji module. Disable the visibility of the text layer so that it does not appear behind the emoji. Return to the Chat Edit composition to review the final effect. Now, let's add another message from the recipient, this time containing an image. First, animate the hiding of the message bubble tail from the last received message to ensure it doesn't overlap with the upcoming image message. Make sure you have selected the last received message on the timeline, where you want to hide the message bubble tail. Next, add a keyframe to define when the tail should be visible. In the Essential Properties panel, 
click the stopwatch icon next to message leg on off to set the keyframe. Next, move the timeline playhead forward by one frame, then disable the message bubble tail using the checkbox and add a new keyframe. As you can see, the message bubble tail disappears at the keyframed moment. Now, let's add the image message. Locate the Messages Pictures subfolder and drag either the vertical or horizontal image message module onto the workspace, depending on your desired layout. Place the image message module below the last message to maintain a cascading effect. Then, disable the username option since it's not needed for this stacked message sequence. Double click the image message module on the timeline to open it. Then, import the desired image into the project panel to use in the message. Place the imported image above the text layer labeled Place picture above this layer and adjust its size to fit properly within the message frame. Return to the chat edit composition to review the final effect. Additionally, we will move the recipient's thumbnail so that it appears at the bottom of the message cascade. First, duplicate the thumbnail layer on the timeline and move it to align with the appearance of the image message. Next, move the newly copied thumbnail so that it aligns with the bottom edge of the image message. Now, shorten the display duration of the first thumbnail on the timeline so that only the one aligned with the bottom of the image message remains visible. In this way, we've successfully simulated the thumbnail jumping to the next message in the cascade, enhancing the natural flow of the conversation. Now, let's move to the final comp composition, where we will place our chat conversation on any background of your choice. Remove the example background and import your own background into the project. Then, position it properly within the composition. If your chat conversation is longer than the composition height, you can animate its movement to scroll along with the appearing messages for a more dynamic effect. To enhance the visibility of the message bubbles, I recommend adding a drop shadow effect to the chat edit composition. You can do this by selecting chat edit, then going to effects and presets and applying the drop shadow effect. Adjust the opacity, distance, and softness as needed for the best result. To change the colors of the message bubbles, labels, and notifications, let's go back to the Chat Edit composition. On the timeline, locate the Colors layer, which allows you to adjust the color scheme of the chat elements. The effect controls. Colors panel allows you to customize the appearance of chat elements. Respound cloud color changes the background color of received messages. Respound text color adjusts the text color of received messages. Respound text user name color modifies the username color and the color of delivered, read notifications. Sent cloud color defines the background color of sent messages. Sent text color controls the text color of sent messages. To render the final video, make sure to switch to the final comp composition. Thank you for watching this video tutorial.